Today, we will delve into the fascinating topic of the psychology of procrastination. Procrastination is a common behavior that affects many people, and it can have negative consequences on our work, our relationships, and our overall well-being. While many people experience procrastination from time to time, for some individuals, it can become a chronic and persistent habit that interferes with their daily lives. In order to understand why we procrastinate, it can be helpful to explore the underlying psychological factors that contribute to this behavior. Fear of failure is one common reason why people procrastinate. When we are afraid of failing at a task, we may put it off in order to avoid the discomfort and disappointment that can accompany failure. However, procrastination can actually increase the risk of failure by limiting the amount of time we have to complete a task, and leading to rushed or incomplete work. Another common factor that contributes to procrastination is perfectionism. When we hold ourselves to extremely high standards, we may feel overwhelmed and anxious about the prospect of completing a task. This can lead us to delay or avoid the task in order to protect ourselves from the potential disappointment of not meeting our own expectations. In addition to fear of failure and perfectionism, other psychological factors that can contribute to procrastination include low self-esteem, lack of motivation or interest in the task at hand, and a general sense of feeling overwhelmed or burnt out. Despite the negative consequences of procrastination, it can be a difficult habit to break. However, there are several strategies that can be effective in managing and overcoming procrastination. One such strategy is to break tasks down into smaller, more manageable steps, and set specific goals and deadlines for each one. This can help to create a sense of progress and accomplishment, and make the task at hand feel less daunting. Another useful strategy for managing procrastination is to identify and challenge negative thought patterns or beliefs that may be contributing to the behavior. By reframing negative thoughts in a more positive and empowering way, we can reduce the sense of anxiety and overwhelm that often accompanies procrastination. In addition to these strategies, practicing mindfulness and self-compassion can also be effective in managing procrastination. Mindfulness involves being present in the moment and aware of our thoughts, emotions, and bodily sensations. By practicing mindfulness, we can become more aware of our tendency to procrastinate, and develop a greater sense of control over our thoughts and actions. Similarly, self-compassion involves being kind and forgiving towards ourselves, rather than engaging in self-criticism or negative self-talk. By practicing self-compassion, we can reduce the pressure and stress that often accompanies procrastination, and approach our work and other tasks with greater ease and confidence. In summary, procrastination is a common behavior that can have negative consequences on our work and our well-being. However, by understanding the psychological factors that contribute to this behavior, and developing effective strategies for managing and overcoming procrastination, we can work towards a more productive, fulfilling, and stress-free life. One important aspect of managing procrastination is setting realistic goals and expectations for ourselves. When we set goals that are too ambitious or unrealistic, we may set ourselves up for failure and increase the likelihood of procrastination. By setting goals that are specific, measurable, and achievable, we can increase our sense of control and confidence, and reduce the likelihood of procrastination. Another important strategy for managing procrastination is to create a supportive environment that encourages productivity and focus. This may involve finding a quiet and comfortable space to work, minimizing distractions such as social media or email notifications, and surrounding ourselves with positive and supportive people who can offer encouragement and accountability. It's also important to recognize that procrastination is often a symptom of deeper underlying issues, such as anxiety or depression. In some cases, 
Seeking professional help from a therapist or counselor may be necessary in order to address these underlying issues and develop more effective coping strategies. In addition to these strategies, there are several practical tools and techniques that can be effective in managing and overcoming procrastination. One such technique is the Pomodoro method, which involves breaking work down into 25-minute intervals, followed by a short break. This can help to increase focus and productivity, and make the task at hand feel more manageable. Another technique that can be helpful is the just 5 minutes approach, in which we commit to working on a task for just 5 minutes, with the understanding that we can stop if we don't feel like continuing. Oftentimes, once we get started on a task, we find that it's not as difficult or daunting as we had originally imagined, and we are able to continue working beyond the initial 5-minute commitment. In conclusion, while procrastination can be a challenging and frustrating habit to overcome, it is possible to manage and overcome this behavior through a combination of psychological understanding, practical strategies, and tools and techniques. By developing a greater awareness of the underlying factors that contribute to procrastination, and by implementing effective strategies for managing this behavior, we can increase our productivity, reduce our stress and anxiety, and achieve our goals with greater ease and confidence.